So we're going to go ahead and install the flywheel on our engine. Uh, the flywheel has been cleaned up and measured. It is perfectly within spec. All of our surfaces are perfectly clean. It has the pilot bearing which has already been installed into the flywheel. This is just tapped in from the back side and this is the reinforcement plate. If you look closely you can see that the holes are not perfectly concentric with everything so the flywheel will only mount in one direction. Sometimes the easiest way to figure that is just to put it on the end of the crankshaft and rotate it until you can see all the holes are lined up. So now that I'm lined up, I'm going to put in my reinforcement plate. So we've put the reinforcement plate on and just lined up the bolt holes. Next I'm going to install my bolts and I'm just going to lubricate the threads on my bolts. I do not need to use Loctite. And we are lubricating them so that we can get the correct tightening torque. Once the threads have been lubricated, just want one drop of oil under the head. to install. So I'm just going to tighten all of my flywheel bolts down now. Tightening torque on the flywheel bolts is 150 newton meters. And I'm going to do that in a crisscross pattern. I've got my flywheel lock in here, which is stopping the engine from rotating. And that's it, flywheel is installed, ready to take a clutch.